Have you ever wondered about the mysteries of the ancient Assyrian Empire? It was an empire that held sway over Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization for nearly 1500 years. It was an era of grandeur and glory, shrouded in the mists of antiquity, with its secrets etched in the cuneiform script on clay tablets. Our story begins with a man of enigma, Ashurbanipal, the last great king of the Assyrian Empire, a ruler whose reign was marked by paradoxes. He was a warrior and a scholar, a king who held the reins of power for almost 1500 years, guiding the destiny of an empire that stretched from the Mediterranean Sea in the west to the mountains of western Iran in the east, encompassing what is now Iraq, Syria, and parts of Turkey and Egypt. Ashurbanipal was a man of letters, as well as a man of action. His thirst for knowledge was insatiable. He commissioned the construction of a grand library, a repository of wisdom and knowledge unmatched in its time. It was a vast collection of texts, inscribed on clay tablets covering every conceivable subject, from history and astronomy to literature and law. This grand library was more than just a collection of books. It was a symbol of the intellectual might of the Assyrian Empire, a testament to its cultural richness and sophistication. But like all great things, it had its twilight. The library was lost in 612 BC when the Babylonians, in a coalition with other enemies of Assyria, laid siege to the city of Nineveh, burning the library down. The ruins of this once magnificent library lay buried for over two millennia until a British archaeologist, Austin Henry Layard, unearthed them in 1849. His discovery revealed a wealth of information about the Assyrian Empire, its culture, its history, and its last great king, Ashurbanipal. But how did Ashurbanipal rise to such power? Let's delve into his journey. From a young prince to the all-powerful ruler, Ashurbanipal's story is nothing short of extraordinary. Born into the royal lineage of the Assyrian Empire, Ashurbanipal was not immediately destined for the throne. As a younger son of King Esarhaddon, his early years were steeped in rigorous education rather than the politics of the court. This was a time when most royal offspring were groomed for military and administrative roles. Yet Ashurbanipal found himself drawn to the scholarly arts. He learned to read and write in both Akkadian and Sumerian, becoming one of the few kings of his time who could claim literacy. However, fate had a different plan. A series of unexpected events, including the premature death of his elder brother, catapulted Ashurbanipal to the forefront of the line of succession. In the year 668 BC, he ascended to the throne, marking the start of an era that would see the Assyrian Empire reach its zenith. His education was not forgotten upon his ascension, rather it became a defining attribute of his rule. Ashurbanipal continued to cultivate his knowledge, using it to govern wisely and justly. His scholarly pursuits did not make him soft though. He was as much a warrior king as he was a scholar, leading his armies to victory and expanding the boundaries of the empire. His notable military campaigns, such as the successful conquest of Egypt, showcased his strategic prowess and fearless leadership. His victories, however, were not solely on the battlefield. Ashurbanipal also championed the arts and sciences, amassing a grand library that would become the envy of the ancient world. But it wasn't all glory and triumph. The path to power is often fraught with obstacles, and Ashurbanipal's journey was no exception. His reign was marked by internal strife and familial disputes, shaping his rule and the course of the Assyrian Empire. However, his rise to power was not without its share of family conflicts. In the heart of the palace, a storm was brewing, fueled by the ambitions and rivalities of royal blood. A tale as old as time, power struggles within royal families often shape the course of history. In the case of Ashurbanipal, his family was no exception. Ashurbanipal's relationship with his older brother, Shamash Shum-Ukin, was a significant source of tension. Their father, Esarhaddon, had divided the empire between the two, appointing Ashurbanipal as the king of Assyria and entrusting Babylon to Shamash Shum-Ukin. This arrangement, however, bred a bitter rivalry that would eventually erupt into a full-blown civil war. Shamash Shumukin, as the older brother, felt slighted by his junior status and began to harbor resentment towards Ashurbanipal. The tension simmered for years, a silent undercurrent in their interactions, a sleeping serpent waiting to strike. And strike it did, 
in the form of a rebellion led by Shamash Shum Ukin in 652 BC. This revolt, however, was not merely a sibling spat. It was a struggle for power, a fight for the future of the Assyrian Empire. The civil war lasted for five long, grueling years, tearing at the fabric of the empire, testing the metal of Ashurbanipal. Through strategic warfare and a relentless blockade, Ashurbanipal quelled the rebellion, effectively ending his brother's bid for supremacy. The victory, however, came at a great cost. The civil war had weakened the empire, exposing vulnerabilities that would later be exploited by the Babylonians and Medes. Furthermore, the conflict had taken a toll on Ashurbanipal himself. He became increasingly paranoid and ruthless, qualities that would mark his later reign and shape his legacy. Family conflicts such as these were not uncommon in royal households. But in Ashurbanipal's case, they had far-reaching implications, influencing his rule and the future of the Assyrian Empire. These internal struggles, bitter and destructive, cast a long shadow over his reign. Despite these conflicts, Ashurbanipal left behind a lasting legacy. His scholarly pursuits, his grand library, and his indomitable spirit have stood the test of time, offering us a glimpse into the life and times of a ruler who navigated the stormy seas of family conflicts and emerged, albeit scarred, victorious. Ashurbanipal's reign was marked by both scholarly pursuits and brutal military campaigns. This king, the last great ruler of the Assyrian Empire, was a paradoxical figure, embodying both the savage warrior and the enlightened scholar. His military prowess was formidable, and he was relentless in his pursuit of power. He led numerous campaigns to expand and consolidate the empire. His victories stretched from Egypt to Persia, creating an empire that was unrivaled in its size and power. Not content with mere territorial gains, Ashurbanipal ensured that the conquered peoples were integrated into the Assyrian way of life, thereby strengthening the unity and stability of his realm. Yet for all his military might, Ashurbanipal was not a ruler who relied solely on the sword. He was also a man of learning with a deep appreciation for the arts and sciences. This was a king who could quote from the Epic of Gilgamesh, discuss astronomy with his scholars, and debate the finer points of law and philosophy. His greatest contribution to the world of knowledge, however, was the creation of his grand library. This was no mere collection of scrolls and tablets. It was a vast repository of knowledge, containing tens of thousands of texts covering a wide range of subjects. From literature and history to science and religion, the library of Ashurbanipal was a testament to the intellectual vitality of the Assyrian civilization. But this library was more than just a place of learning. It was also a symbol of Ashurbanipal's vision for his empire. He saw Assyria not just as a military power, but as a beacon of culture and knowledge. His library was a statement to the world that Assyria was not just a conqueror, but a civilization that valued wisdom and learning. Ashurbanipal's legacy is a complex one. He was a ruthless military leader, yet also a patron of the arts and sciences. He built an empire through war, yet sought to preserve and promote knowledge through his library. He was a man of contradictions, embodying the best and worst of his times. However, the grandeur of Ashurbanipal's reign did not last forever. His empire, like his library, would eventually fall, marking the end of an era in the history of Mesopotamia. But the legacy of Ashurbanipal, the warrior scholar king, lives on. The mighty Assyrian empire, which had stood tall for 1500 years, was on the brink of collapse. The fall of the Assyrian empire was not an overnight occurrence, but rather a gradual descent into chaos and disarray. A series of internal strife, coupled with external threats, set the stage for the empire's downfall. However, one event that stands out is the devastating coalition led by the Babylonians. The Babylonians, once vassals of the Assyrian Empire, had grown tired of the Assyrian yoke. They rallied other disgruntled regions, forming a formidable alliance that would eventually bring down the mighty empire. The coalition waged relentless wars against the Assyrians, weakening their once indomitable military and straining their resources. But perhaps the most heartbreaking event in this period was the burning of Ashurbanipal's Grand Library. The library, a symbol of the Assyrians' intellectual prowess and cultural sophistication, wasn't merely a collection of clay tablets. It was a testament to Ashurbanipal's scholarly pursuits, housing a wealth of knowledge on a wide range of subjects, from astronomy to literature. 
When the Babylonian-led coalition invaded Nineveh, the Assyrian capital, the library was one of the many casualties of their rage. The invaders set the library on fire, reducing thousands of clay tablets to ashes. The loss of this intellectual treasure was a blow to the Assyrian Empire, a loss from which it would never recover. The fall of Nineveh in 612 BC marked the end of the Assyrian Empire. The once mighty empire, which had dominated the ancient Near East for 1500 years, was reduced to a shadow of its former glory. The Babylonians and their allies had not only succeeded in toppling the empire, but also in erasing a significant part of its intellectual legacy. The fall of the Assyrian Empire marked the end of an era, with Ashurbanipal's library lost to time. The empire's decline was a significant turning point in ancient history, signaling a shift in power dynamics and heralding the rise of new empires. And while the physical library was lost, the memory of Ashurbanipal's grand institution lives on a poignant reminder of the empire's intellectual might and cultural sophistication. Centuries later, the echoes of the Assyrian Empire would be heard once again. Fast forward to the mid-19th century, a time when the world was growing smaller thanks to advancements in travel and communication. In this era of exploration, a British archaeologist named Austin Henry Layard found himself drawn to the ancient lands of Mesopotamia. In the year 1849, Layard stumbled upon the remnants of a once grand structure. Little did he know, he had rediscovered one of the most significant historical sites of the ancient world, the library of Ashurbanipal. This wasn't an ordinary library, but a vast repository of knowledge, a treasure trove of the ancient world, buried under the sands of time for over two millennia. The significance of this discovery cannot be overstated. This was not just about the physical building or its location, but about the wealth of information it held within its walls. The library contained thousands of clay tablets inscribed in cuneiform, the earliest form of writing. These tablets provided an unparalleled glimpse into the daily life, culture and history of the Assyrian Empire. The text revealed the tumultuous rise to power of Ashurbanipal, the complex family conflicts that marked his reign and his legacy as a ruler who was as brutal as he was scholarly. They painted a vivid picture of a civilization that was advanced for its time, with a well-structured society, complex legal and educational systems, and a deep appreciation for the arts and sciences. The rediscovery of Ashurbanipal's library was like opening a time capsule. It allowed historians and scholars to piece together the complex narrative of the Assyrian Empire, filling in the gaps left by other historical sources. It underscored the importance of preserving historical records as they provide invaluable insights into our past, helping us understand our present and potentially guide our future. In a way, the Library of Ashurbanipal is more than just a collection of ancient texts. It's a testament to the enduring power of knowledge, a symbol of human curiosity and the quest for understanding. Ashurbanipal's library, once lost, now serves as a window into the past. Ashurbanipal's library, a treasure trove of ancient knowledge, holds a special place in the annals of history. Unveiling the contents of Ashurbanipal's library is akin to opening a Pandora's box of ancient wisdom. Its shelves were lined with a staggering array of texts, each one a time capsule, preserving the rich tapestry of Assyrian culture and history. This was a library that was more than just a collection of books. It was a testament to a civilization that had thrived for over 1500 years. The texts encompassed a wide range of subjects, from astronomy to medicine, law to literature, and religion to geography. It was a compendium of human understanding, a kaleidoscope of knowledge that reflected the intellectual curiosity of the Assyrians. Among the most famous of these texts were the Epic of Gilgamesh, the world's oldest known piece of literature, and the Enuma Elish, the Babylonian creation myth. But it wasn't just their diversity that made these texts significant. They were written in cuneiform, one of the earliest systems of writing on clay tablets. This made them incredibly durable, capable of withstanding the ravages of time and the destructive forces that led to the library's downfall. As such, they provide an unrivaled insight into the life and times of the Assyrians, a civilization that rose and fell long before the birth of Christ. The library also played a crucial role in preserving the Assyrian way of life, it was here that scribes painstakingly copied texts, ensuring that the wisdom of the ancients was passed down to future generations. 
This was a culture that valued knowledge and learning, and the library was the embodiment of this ethos. And so the significance of Ashurbanipal's library extends far beyond its physical existence. It is a symbol of a civilization's thirst for knowledge, a testament to its intellectual prowess. It shines a light on a chapter of human history that might otherwise have been lost in the sands of time. Through his library, Ashurbanipal's legacy continues to live on. Ashurbanipal, a king of contrasts, ruled over the ancient Assyrian Empire with both an iron fist and an enlightened mind. His life journey, from a tumultuous rise to power through bitter family conflicts, to his reign as a brutal yet scholarly ruler, paints a vivid picture of the last great Assyrian king. As a ruler, he was both feared for his military prowess and revered for his wisdom. His greatest legacy, however, lies not in his conquests, but in his grand library. This vast collection of texts, lost and then rediscovered, provides us with invaluable insights into Assyrian history and culture. The library stands testament to Ashurbanipal's thirst for knowledge, his appreciation for the written word, and his desire to preserve the wisdom of his empire for generations to come. Through the lens of history, we continue to unravel the mysteries of the ancient Assyrian Empire, with Ashurbanipal's library at the heart of this exploration. Imagine for a moment the grandeur of an ancient empire that ruled over Mesopotamia for 1500 years. The Assyrian Empire, a civilization so advanced for its time, was led by its last king, Ashurbanipal. Known for his scholarly pursuits and brutal rule, Ashurbanipal's reign marked a significant chapter in Assyrian history. But what if I told you his most notable legacy was not his rulership but a grand library he constructed? A library that was burned to the ground only to be unearthed centuries later. In the 7th century BC, Ashurbanipal ascended to the throne of the Assyrian Empire. His rise to power, however, was anything but smooth. Tumultuous family conflicts and power struggles marked his early years. Yet, through it all, Ashurbanipal proved to be a capable and determined ruler. He was not just a king, but also a scholar, with a thirst for knowledge that was insatiable. During his rule, Ashurbanipal commissioned the construction of a grand library. This wasn't just any library. It was a magnificent repository of cuneiform tablets, a treasure trove of Assyrian knowledge and culture. The king himself was known to have personally contributed to the collection, translating and copying texts. Yet this scholarly endeavor was not meant to last. In 612 BC, the Babylonians led a coalition against the Assyrian Empire. In the ensuing war, the great library of Ashurbanipal was burned down. The flames consumed the wealth of knowledge and history stored within its walls. It was a devastating blow, a significant loss not just for the Assyrian Empire but for all of humanity. Yet, as fate would have it, this was not the end. Centuries later, in the year 1849, British archaeologist Austin Henry Layard rediscovered the ruins of the library. Against all odds, many of the cuneiform tablets had survived the fire, buried under the rubble. The rediscovery of these ancient texts unveiled a wealth of insights into Assyrian history and culture. Ashurbanipal's rule, marked by both scholarly pursuits and brutal warfare, offers a complex portrayal of this Assyrian king. The burning of his library and its subsequent rediscovery centuries later symbolized the enduring legacy of the Assyrian Empire. The texts discovered provide a tangible connection to our past, allowing us to delve into the intricacies of a civilization lost in time. In conclusion, the story of Ashurbanipal and his grand library serves as a poignant reminder of the impermanence of human endeavors and the enduring power of knowledge. Through the rediscovered texts, we gain a glimpse into the life and times of the Assyrian Empire, enriching our understanding of human history. The tale of Ashurbanipal's rule and the burning and rediscovery of his library is indeed a fascinating chapter in the annals of history.